Put away the turkey and the leftovers and fire up the grill. It is time for Bedlam. Coming up on Inside Cowboy Football, we'll break down the 101st meeting between the Cowboys and the Sooners. Plus, sophomore quarterback Bobby Reed tells us why he's always smiling on national television. That's in the Cowboy 10. And finally, we'll look ahead to where the Cowboys may be headed for postseason play. All that and much more coming up right now as we go Inside Cowboy Football. Premier facilities, premier stadium, premier players, premier coaching. It's Oklahoma State football. Catch it, embrace it, and now understand it. For the next 30 minutes, you get to sit side by side with the man they call Gundy. Are you ready? Welcome to Inside Cowboy Football with Oklahoma State head coach Mike Gundy. Cowboys lose a heartbreaker here in Bedlam 27-21 to Oklahoma. Joining me now, head coach Mike Gundy. Coach, your kids played their hearts out. Your thoughts on a, on a very tough game. Well, I was proud of the way our football team fought the entire game. There was a lot of emotional swings in this game, and uh, I was proud of the way they fought. Uh, I wish we could have punched it in a time or two when we were down there close, but uh, our, our kids fought hard, and that's what it really comes down to. Uh, all we can ask is for that they play their hearts out, so they gave themselves a chance. You talk about your seniors a little bit and just their last game here in Stillwater really left everything on the field. They've given you great effort all year long. Well, the seniors have produced great leadership and uh, have done a great job with a, with a young football team that's played very mature throughout the year. I'm proud of the way they competed. Um, I, I just wish that uh, they could have won their last game here, but uh, it means a lot to our coaching staff that our players will lay it all on the line like that. Is there one thing you can put your finger on today that you feel like was the difference? Well, we got to do a better job of stopping the run. And then once we're down there, close to the goal line, we got to find a way to punch it in. Uh, you have to give them credit because uh, they're good in their goal line defense. But for the most part, we got to find a way to get it in. Coach, congrats on a good season. We'll see you in the bowl game. Thank you very much. That's head coach Mike Gundy. Cowboys drop a close one here in Stillwater in the 101st Bedlam meeting, 27-21 to Oklahoma. For more on the game, let's send it up to the locker room. Everybody knows that, you know, we have a good team. We just, like like I said earlier, we, we come out with the short end of the stick um, a couple times this year. You know, you know that's how football is. You know, anybody can win any, any given Saturday, uh, Saturday. So, you know, we just have to come out and play. And we were close. And the way we, the, losing games the way we lost them, you know, can be a real emotional strain on, on, on a team. But I think in the end we um, – We've bounced back so strong, you know. We we won, we lost some, like we lost the A&M game, a close one, and bounced back and won the next game. And you know, we lost the Texas Tech game, bounced back. You know, we didn't bounce back like we should have and won this game. But um, that's just the way it is. It's been real tough. I mean, this one, there's A&M, you know, Kansas State. Um, you know, it's just we've just been real close, and I think you know our youth has something to do with it. But, uh, you know, next year it'll, it's only going to make us stronger, and next year we'll be able to finish those games. Coming up after the break, Dave Hunziker and head coach Mike Gundy break down the Bedlam game. Well, now it's time for a little trivia. Which Cowboy holds the record for the most tackles in a season? Is it A, Mike Green, B, Matt Monger, or C, Larry Gosney? The answer is coming up a little later as Inside Cowboy Football continues. Inside Cowboy Football is brought to you in part by... Conoco and Phillips 66, your Oklahoma Ford dealers, Oklahoma Farm Bureau, your Central Oklahoma Honda 5 dealers, O'Reilly Auto Parts, and your Oklahoma Chevy dealers. You're inside Cowboy Football with Oklahoma State head coach Mike Gundy. Reed creeps up under center. Fourth and goal from the two. Tostin goes in motion. Empty backfield now. Reed gets a snap. Sets Both up. Go. Throws it right side of the end zone. And the pass is caught. The Cowboys come up just short in their bid for a seventh win in the 2006 season. For more on the Bedlam game, let's join Dave Hunziker and head coach Mike Gundy. Guys? Rob, thanks very much with Cowboy head football coach Mike Gundy. Quite an effort by your football team in this game against Oklahoma. Came up just short. Well, in 17 years of coaching, this is proud I've ever been of a group of guys. Uh, they played a very good football team, and our team competed today. Uh, Brandon Pettigrew, Dewan Woods, David Washington, Rod Johnson's playing hurt, Patrick Levine. Uh, we had young guys in there competing in this game that haven't played very much all year. 
but uh, we got down, they'd come back and score. Then we had an emotional letdown, not scoring on the one yard line. Our defense went out and stopped them. Our offense went back down and put us in position to win the football game. And uh, this team has played that way all year. I I've not ever been involved in a season where we've had this many close losses. But I've said this, and in this show, you've heard me, that uh, I feel a lot better now than I did walking off that field in Norman last year. This football team has a lot of pride. All you can ask for is that your team fights and gives you their all, and that's what they did today. I was very proud of our coaching staff. I thought we had great offensive plan, had a great defensive plan. Our, our coaches worked hard. They put a good plan together. They gave our players a chance to win, and our players accepted the role. They accepted the game plan. They practiced hard all week, and they said, we're going to go out and lay it all on the line, and that's what they did today. Mike, I want to go all the way back to the coin toss. You won the toss, and I think for the first time this year, you won it and chose to take the ball. And boy, did that pay off. Dantrell Savage finishes off a 79-yard drive with a five-yard TD run. Well, we wanted the football to start the game because we felt like we had a good first drive. And secondly, we wanted to control which end of the field we defended in the second half. And by taking the football, Obviously, in the second half, they're going to take the ball, and then you can decide which, which field you want to defend. So there was a lot of thought that went into that. That's not just something we said, hey, let's do differently. Field position was an issue, especially in the second quarter for your team. And just before half, OU went up 13-7. to Then they score early in the third on the first play from scrimmage. Alan Patrick goes 65 yards for a touchdown, makes it 20-7. to But that drive you had early in the third to get it back to a one-score game certainly was big in the game. Well, certainly our, our offense stepped up, and, and it goes back to what your team's made of. That can break your back emotionally. I mean, it, it, to say, okay, we're fired up, we're ready to go, we're, we're playing at home, everybody's well, wearing orange and screaming, and then the first play of the game, they bust a long one. Yep. If you're a normal team and you don't have a lot of heart, guys checking in. I mean, I've been in this business 21 years now as a player and coach, and I've been around teams that can't overcome that. But it comes back to great senior leadership and the, the, uh, the unity uh, the players have for each other. It's important to them. They care about each other, and they just continue to rally back. Mike, the touchdown scoring play couldn't have worked out any better on a second and goal from the one, the naked bootleg, and Bobby Reed, nobody in front of him for an easy TD. Again, you, you, you have to give uh, the offensive coaches some credit. I mean, that's something they've seen on tape. We knew we had the opportunity to do that. We had a lot of respect for what Oklahoma has up front and stopping the run. We, we wanted to use Bobby's speed. They knew when to do it, and they called it, and it worked perfectly. It's very, very well executed play. OU comes right back, goes down the field again, 11 plays, 74 yards. Chris Brown's one-yard run puts him back up by two scores. Your team comes right back, and we're going to go ahead and get to our turning point. On second and 19 from the OU 23, Brandon Pettigrew, your tight end, hauls in the pass from Zach Robinson and just makes a heck of a play, our turning point. The play that Brandon Pettigrew made today was another great play. And uh, here he's just a sophomore coming back for two more years. The reason why he makes good plays is because football is important to him. And this team's important to him. It's as good a play as I've seen in a long time. Unfortunately, that drive ended on a fourth down situation. Zach Robinson trying to get it into the end zone just could not quite get the ball over the goal line before it was knocked loose. What do you think? One of the areas that we were concerned about was our ability to move them down tight. They're good up front, they're strong, good linebackers, we all know that. And, and when you get down on the goal line, there's not a lot of scheming involved. I mean, you've got to block them and come off. We've been pretty good down there, but we were concerned about it. Uh, we went to the option, and they made a good play. Zach gave great, great effort. He just came up a little short. Again, the momentum could have shifted permanently to the side of Oklahoma, but you get a defensive stop after the ball was recovered in the end zone for a touchback. Three plays and out for OU, and then right back down the field you go. DeWan Woods, our cowboy in the clutch, hauling in a fourth down. Goal to go pass from Bobby Reed, and it's a one-score game again at 27-21. Well, a big catch from, from a senior, a guy that's got a lot of experience, stepped up. The ball was thrown right where it needed to be, pretty well defended. He just went up and took it from him. We talked as a team before this game that there would be plays that the ball would be up in the air. It always has been in the Bedlam game, and you're going to have to go up and take it from him, and that's what he did. OU had one yard of offense in the fourth quarter. The defense comes back out on two more occasions. They forced three plays and out for Oklahoma. Have one last shot to the end zone on the last play of the game, but it falls incomplete. Well, it's, again, it's a difficult finish for us. We've had several games this year that have finished this way. Uh, I don't know the rhyme and reason for it, but I know it's made our team stronger. It's made our coaching staff stronger. Uh, the only thing that you can do when you're in a situation like this is rally the troops and be proud of what they accomplished. Coming up, it's Ask Coach when Inside Cowboy Football continues in a moment. Hi, we're the OSU Palm Squad. 
and you're watching Inside Cowboy Football with head coach Mike Gundy. Get your questions ready. It's time to ask coach. This is Fred Ration from Tulsa, Oklahoma. My question today is uh, how's uh, recruiting going? I know you can't comment on individual players, but uh, just interested to see how overall you think things are going. Thanks. Recruiting's going very well. Oklahoma State's a great place to be. We're going to build the best facilities in college football. We have a coaching staff that cares about the players. We have a close team. Our players enjoy their everyday life here, and I can't imagine a young man not wanting to come to school here. Email questions. What makes Dantrell Savage such a good back? Dantrell has great vision and great lateral movement. He's difficult to bring down because he's shifty. He's tough. He likes to play the game. He'd rather be in there in a tough situation than the easy ones, and when you're like that, good players rise to the top. What seniors have the best chance of playing in the NFL? Well, we're fortunate. We have several players. Corey Hilliard, Victor DeGreat, uh, Larry Brown, Ryan McBean, Dewan Woods. I might have missed one or so, but uh, we've got several guys that have an opportunity to play in the NFL. They'll be in a camp. They'll have a chance, and uh, we always hope they do well. Uh, to continue on the tradition of Cowboy players in the NFL. Remember, if you have a question for Coach Gundy, send it to us at AskCoach at Fox23.com. Coach Gundy and I will be back for a final segment, but first, let's send it to Rob. Thank you, Dave. Well, it's been a breakout year for sophomore quarterback Bobby Reed. Reed is leading one of the elite offenses in the nation. Bobby is a big fan of primetime Deion Sanders and also the TV show Martin. And Bobby tells us more in this week's Cowboy 10. What's your favorite food? Chin tacos from Jack in the Box. What's your favorite NFL team? The Houston Texans. If you could have dinner with one person, just one person, who would it be? My grandfather, Robert Reed. He died like seven months before I was born. What's your favorite cartoon? It used to be a cartoon that used to come out called uh, Rocco's Modern Life. I used to love that show. What's your favorite movie? I'm just going to say uh, Friday. If they were to make a movie about your life, who would play you? Me. What's your favorite sport other than football? Well, uh, I mean, it's uh, basketball. You know, I, you know, I, I, tell all the, I tell all the guys, you know, I used to be a bad boy in basketball. But, you know, they don't believe me, but, you know, that's just, you know, every, I think every football player Things they 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 are they are a great basketball player, but you know this, that's just you know that's the way we are. And what's your favorite thing about playing football here at OSU? I don't know. I just you know I just everything I like about the school and the town. You know, fans are here for us. What's your proudest moment? My daughter was born, the day my daughter was born. What's your most embarrassing moment? Oh man, it hit. It have to be. When I was at the Elite 11 camp and they played the joke on me and I almost cried on national TV. <laughs> what was the joke they played on you? It was um, the coaches and the players, you know, they made a uh, they made a little newsletter saying that I was gonna be ineligible to play my senior year of football because of uh, contact with an agent. And you know, the first thing was like, well, my mama didn't tell me and I was kinda like teary eyed. And my roommate, they showed my roommate laughing the whole time, but you know, he never told me about it, so I was kinda I wasn't mad. But, you know, I was kind of like, you know, that's kind of messed up. I would have done it to you, but, you know, that, you know, just having fun. Coming up, we'll bring you the sights and sounds from Senior Day. That's next when Inside Cowboy Football continues. Time to answer that trivia question. Which Cowboy holds the record for the most tackles in a season? Well, if you guessed Mike Green, you guessed correctly. Green was all over the field recording 183 tackles in the 1982 season. Welcome back to Heritage Hall in historic Gallagher Iba Arena. Saturday marked the final time that 17 seniors suited up for the Cowboys in Stillwater. Right now we go front and center with those players and recognize some of their achievements. Front and center is brought to you by your Oklahoma Chevy dealers.
After the break, we'll take a look at the Cowboys' possible bowl scenarios. That's next when Inside Cowboy Football with head coach Mike Gundy continues. Inside Cowboy Football is brought to you in part by Conoco and Phillips 66, your Oklahoma Ford dealers, Oklahoma Farm Bureau, your Central Oklahoma Honda 5 dealers, O'Reilly Auto Parts, and your Oklahoma Chevy dealers. You're inside Cowboy Football with Oklahoma State head coach Mike Gundy. OSU finishes the season with six wins, and the Cowboys now must wait to find out where they will go bowling. Let's rejoin Dave Hunziker and head coach Mike Gundy as they look ahead to the Cowboys postseason. Guys? Rob, thanks very much. Back for a final time with Cowboy head football coach Mike Gundy. A 6-6 six and six year. Looks like a bowl game will be in the cards for Oklahoma State in the postseason. And I know, just like what you said earlier, if people are looking for progress with this football team, surely they've seen it during the course of this season. Many positives, things that not only you as a coaching staff can be proud of, but our fans as well. It's interesting. Uh, I still get questions at times from the press on, do you think a 6-6 six and six team deserves to go to a bowl? If people knew the hard work and effort that these young men put into a season, and even in the off season when they're here at 6 a.m. running stadiums and everything they have to deal with as a student and an athlete, I mean, the greatest reward for them is to spend some time together at a bowl game. It's an opportunity for coaches to work with some young players, to enjoy the team. There's so much hard work and effort that go into a football season that when you have an opportunity to continue and reward the young men, you certainly want to jump all over it. And these guys, these guys have given their all every single game. The only game that I, that I didn't think that we played very well was Texas. Every other game, our team's either won the game or they've been in it till the end, and that's all you can ask for. Well, obviously it's out of our hands, but uh, if I'm out there picking, I think we're a pretty good team to take to a bowl. So uh, I'm confident that they'll have the opportunity to do it, and uh, hopefully the players will be rewarded. Well, stay tuned as we give you those details as they become available. That's all with head coach Mike Gundy. Let's send it back to Rob. Make sure you don't miss any of the action in the Cowboys Bowl game. The OSU Athletic Department is making plans for tickets, travel, and accommodations based on the Cowboys' various bowl possibilities. You should contact the OSU Athletic Ticket Office. That number is toll-free at 1-877-ALL-4-OSU. Or visit www.okstate.com and click on the front page, Bowl. Thanks, guys. That's all the time we have for this week. Be sure to join us next time as we go bowling with the Cowboys. For Dave Hunziker, head coach Mike Gundy, and the entire OSU coaching staff, I'm Rob Labor. We'll see you next time.